And let's take one more. I'm looking at that big, powerful guy there. I don't know. Who's a better-looking guy? Let me, <laughs> let me see. I don't know. He looks good. They look, they look good. You, you, look, you look fantastic, and we love you. Ah, thank you very much. I appreciate um, it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're the greatest executive I've ever observed in my lifetime. And I think you've made it possible for governors, including Kim Reynolds, whom I love and respect for many years, to become the really high-level executives by your example. Now, you have passed legislation, or got legislation passed for, like, the wall. It got paid for. It was passed. You signed it. And then there was the uh, XL Keystone Pipeline. All of these things have to do with interstate commerce. Right. There are Section 1, or, or Article 1, Section 8 in the Constitution. Biden had no authority in law to reverse those things. And what would you do to see to that never happens again under your watch through your actions and with the legislation? Well, the Keystone, great. I love your question. I like your statement even more than your question, to be honest with you. This could be the last question of the night, because I love it. Appreciate it. Appreciate the job you do also. Do you know each other? Sheriff, do you know each other? Do you know who that is, that man? Huh? Huh? I know Bobby. Yeah, I love this guy. I love them both. Ready? So I think what, hap what has to happen, uh, and it's very simple. The Keystone Pipeline was a tragic mistake that they made. That was so much coming from other parts, and it was going right into the source. Everything would have been — it would have been so great. And by the way, environmentally much safer. The wall — I built hundreds of miles of wall, but I ended up getting uh, — I want to use a nice word because we have such young people here — but the word that would normally be used would be screwed. But I wouldn't use that word because I don't want to get in trouble with the parents of these two beautiful young boys. No, what they did is they took advantage of the American public, and we built hundreds of miles, but there was other areas that we could have built. I ended up having to take it out of the military because I considered it an invasion, and the Army Corps of Engineers did a fantastic job. We built hundreds of miles of it, but I didn't get it the old-fashioned way, like getting it approved, because the Democrats fought us every inch. We had 11 lawsuits. It took us two and a half years. We won all of them. But we had 11 lawsuits to win. They, fight, they tried to fight the wall. But the bottom line is, it, it sort of shows — that's a good example. If you want to get something done, if you love our country, and you really want — if it's so important, you're going to get it done. You're going to find a way to get it done. This was sort of ingenious. We passed this big military budget, but we couldn't get a wall built for a tiny fraction of that. And I said, this is an invasion of our country. And it is, by the way. This is an invasion of our country, what's coming across our border. It's no different than soldiers. It doesn't work. You look at these cities. Our great cities are — New York City is a crime den. Chicago is a crime den. You look at these great cities — Los Angeles, San Francisco — you look at what's happening to our country. We cannot let it happen any longer. And one of the other things I'll do because, you know, you're supposed to not be involved in that. You just have to be asked by the governor or the mayor to come in. The next time, I'm not waiting. One of the things I did was let them run it, and we're going to show how bad a job they do. Well, we did that. We don't have to wait any longer. we got to get crime out of our cities. Thank you very much for a good question. The gentleman was um, exactly right. When uh, Trump was in office, he passed legislation um, and the two legisl legislations that he passed was to build a wall and also to, um, for the XL Keystone Pipeline. And the minute Biden gets into office, he cancels them. And I'm, you know, when, when I was watching that part of the video, I was just thinking like for a moment, on that day when Biden took office and he sat at that desk and he had a stack of binders and he's, you know, canceling a lot of the stuff that, that Trump did, the world was such in a better place. We had no war. Inflation was not inflation. Um, gas prices were not as high. We were making more money. There was more support for middle class. I can go on and on. You guys know. Um, it was a better place. Fast forward to today, it's like, it's crazy. And when Trump started to talk about, um, you know, how he was able to get money for the wall and, and how much of the wall he was building and stuff, 
Another thing that came to mind is if we can get a Republican in office um, in 2024, because of the way the world is right now, the war in Israel now, the war that's been happening in Ukraine, and over the last week, all the people who are coming out in our own country in support of Hamas and against hating the Jews, that is just crazy. We are just, we need a wall. We need our own border secure. So we need someone like Trump back in office so that he can, or a Republican that also agrees with um, building back a wall. You know, Trump was spot on in this video for the need of it and for the reasons of it. There was one um, part though, you know, in the middle, this is off that t subject, in the middle of the video when um, he goes to um, the gentleman and the sheriff, you guys know each other? <laughs> That's the businessman coming out in Trump because in the business world, networking is huge. It's about what happens, building your career, building your opportunities. So automatically uh, he goes from being a politician to being a businessman. He goes, hey, do you guys know each other? You know, making sure the connection's made. I thought that was funny. <laughs>